Winning in Life with Pastor Solomon. Today I'll be talking to you on how to overcome fear. It will be right to say to you that all of us have been afraid or we have been fearful before. So, there is no need for me to define the meaning of fear to you or the feelings or the emotions of fear. Fear comes when we face opposition and we don't know what to do. Fear comes when there's something happened without expecting it. That sometimes nothing happens. You are just afraid of the unknown. So fear can come through the known or the unknown. Some people are afraid of what this year is going to bring them. They don't know. But how do I handle fear? How does the Bible tell us to handle fear? The first thing is to understand where does fear come from? There are two types of fear you must, I must explain to you now. There is the fear of God, which is not dread, but reverence. But there is a negative fear, which is a negative one. It paralyzes you. Fearing God is not the kind of fear I'm talking about. That is reverence for God. But being fearful or being afraid is different. That is a negative form of fear that has a negative impact on you, on your creativity, on your productivity, on who you are. And I want to explain to you, first and foremost, where did fear come from? The first time the word afraid was alluded to in the Bible was in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 3, after the fall of man, after Adam and Eve disobeyed God. One of the things that happened was that when God came to visit them as usual in the cool of the day, the Bible says they ran away and they were hiding. And God called out, Adam, Adam, where are you? And Adam replied to God that when we heard your voice, we were afraid. So we went to hide ourselves. The voice of a loving father, the God that made them in his image and likeness, became a thing of dread and a thing of fear for them. The first time fear was mentioned in the Bible, it came as part of the characteristics or the proof of the fall of man. Man used to run to God, used to embrace God, used to love God and receive love from God. But now, man was afraid. Not even of seeing God, but of the voice of God, of the steps of God. So fear came with the fall. God did not give us the spirit of fear. That is what the book of Timothy said. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. He said, God did not give us the spirit of fear. So we know God is not the source of fear. Somebody said, well, a little bit of fear is healthy. No, it is not healthy. Fear tolerated is faith contaminated. Fear and faith cannot work together. So, when fear comes, it paralyzes. A wise man said, fear looks, but faith jumps. God did not give us the spirit of fear. So, God is not the source of fear. Fear came with the fall. But thank God, in the same verse of scripture, Second Chronicles, uh, sorry, Second Timothy, rather, chapter one, verse seven, it said, "God did not give us a spirit of fear, but He has given unto us the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind." So, while God did not give us the spirit of fear, He gave us a spirit that we can use to combat fear. Fear tolerated. Is faith contaminated? What are you afraid of? Who are you afraid of? Are those things, or is that person bigger than God? It might look bigger right now, but through proper meditation on the person, the power, the love, and the purpose of God for your life, you start to find out that this problem is not as bad as it first looks. I will continue next time on how to overcome fear. Until then, I want you to know that God did not give you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. God bless you. 
For more information, visit the website christiancommunitychurcharklo.hdpm.org or go to CCC Arklo on YouTube and Facebook or Christian Community Church Arklo on Instagram. You can follow Pastor Solomon Araboto on Facebook at pastor.tosh. Winning in life on UCB Ireland.